morning, church. Okay, I can't hear you. Good morning, church. Hello. I Hello. still can't hear you. People at the back. Good morning, church. Okay. Um, it's good to see the church half filled at least today, because usually when I come, it's empty. So I'm glad there are people here. Um, a couple of days back, um, we have a family prayer that happens at our place, and uh, my mom was talking about honoring the God, and and I, I have this very lazy position while I pray. I'm just like slouching, and I'm just sitting and whining and complaining, and at that point, it hit me. We don't really know who we are praying to or who we are worshiping, and I thought that today we just explore the greatness of the God we serve and who we serve. Because a lot of times we take God for granted. We don't know. We just pray and we sing to somebody, but we don't really know who he is. And it's the same thing with our fathers. We all respect our fathers because we know our fathers. We know the authority he has. And we know what role he plays in our life. So similarly, I, I thought today we'd uh, just sing about the greatness of God and explore God and see, see who he is to us. So um, the first song is uh, How Great Is Our God. I'm pretty sure everybody, if not all of you, know this song. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Can you all rise? sing the chorus again but this time can we all think about what we're singing we're actually singing about the greatness of God the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end somebody who surpasses time somebody whose love is everlasting the God who sent down his son his own begotten son to pay for our sins and we're singing about the greatness of this God so if you even think about it it's something it's 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 ridiculously hard to grasp so while we sing this, I want you to just give it some thought about who we're singing to and the greatness of our God. So we can just sing the chorus again. How great is our God? Say with me, how great is our God? And all will see how great. How great, how 
Father, for being this amazing God who sent his only begotten son to us, Father, so that we may live, Father, and it's only by your grace and by the unfathomable love that we are here, Father, privileged people who know you. Thank you, Father, for giving us this privilege, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh. This is a really beautiful song. Uh, I think it's, it's about what God's given us, basically. And uh, as you read this, as you sing these words, I, I want you to guys think about your life. Think about, a lot of you have probably seen 60, 70 years of your life, and I'm pretty sure there are tons and tons and tons of memories you have of what God's done for you. So. I want you to like revisit those moments where God's been great to you. So um, as we sing this, this song, I just want you guys to look at your hearts and see what God's done for you. Yeah. You give life. You are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath.
your breath in our lungs, in our lungs. So we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. Shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Are you Lord? Can we sing this again with all our heart? And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you Lord? It's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. God. To you only, God. Oh, we come before you, Father. We offer our praises to you.
can hardly speak peace out song we sing doesn't need any introduction. I think it's one of those timeless classics that will go on from generation to generation, inspiring people and telling God about who he is. And the beauty about the song is that it reveals who God is from the beginning to the end. And uh, yeah, I think this is one song I just tell you to enjoy the lyrics to just be in your own zone regardless of where it is. I want you all to just worship freely because we serve a God who just demands such worship.
Can we sing this again? When Christ shall come With shout of acclamation And leave me home What joy shall come great you are, Father. Words can't describe how great you are, Father. It's beyond our wisdom, Father. We just thank you for being so sovereign and just showering us with love and grace, Father. I'd like to open the church to open worship. First Chronicles 29, 29.11 uh, says, Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and the earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. the love of God and despite him being so sovereign and despite him being beyond power and what we can fathom he still loves us and he still puts us above everything which is why he created us and it's, it's just a remarkable song if you really think about it that this God who is all powerful he spends time with us. He loves us. He cares about us. He knows all our names. He knows what we think. He knows what we do, what we are going to do. And I just want you to like, you can be seated while you sing the song. I just want this to be your own devotion while we sing this song.
you all to stand up and as we sing the next part I pray that we all sing this with our heart and we sing this with meaning for the words they are because this is the God we serve this is the glorious God we serve despite him having dominion over everything he created the universe but still he does this for us
you're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. last chorus let's just tell the God we serve the God who loves us the God who tears down walls for us the God who climbs mountains for us the God who has dominion over everything the Alpha and the Omega the beginning of time let's just tell him how great he is and let's glorify him for people that is who he is. Then sings my soul, my Savior God. Father, for showing us who you are, for showing us how much you love us, Father, and for showing us that our identity isn't of this world, but it's in you, Father. We're all sons and daughters of the most holy God, the creator of the universe, the God who tears down walls for us. We just thank you for being privileged and blessed among the numerous people who don't know about you, Father. We thank you for giving us this privilege, Father. We commit the entire service into your hand, Father. We pray for whoever is speaking. We pray that those words would be inspired by you, Father, and their words would touch our heart, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.